Hey guys, this is Strike. Um, I just, well, not recently, but a while ago I found this little short visual novel-like game. It's called The Red Witch, and I thought I'd share it with you guys because it's an interesting little fairy tale thing. And so, let's start. This is a story of long, long ago. There lived a girl in a certain village. That girl was called a witch, and that was because she had a mysterious power. But not only because of that, the girl had a deep red hair, like it was flaming. In the village, it was said since long ago that red was an ominous color. Loathed by the people of the village, the girl lived in a mountain a little distance away. However, the girl never thought it was lonely, because she wasn't alone. The girl had a friend. He was a lion called Red Lion. He was also expulsed from his herd because his fellows feared his red mane. However, Red Lion never thought it was lonely because he also had an irreplaceable friend. The girl and Red Lion played in the river, built a secret base and took naps in the, the grass fields. The girl and Red Lion were very close. No matter how much the people of the village hated her, hated her, no matter how much the lions of the herd hated him, as long as Red Lion were there, as long as the girl were there, for the girl, for Red Lion, that was enough. We are friends. That's right, friends. Red Lion rejoiced at the girl's words. Then if you are in danger, no matter what, I'll help you. Then me too. The girl and Red Lion promised each other. A certain day, the girl was walking in the forest like always. Because she was always playing with Red Lion, her gait was very light, and she didn't have any difficulty in treading the rough mountain path. Russell. Suddenly a bush at her back shook. The girl stopped her walk in surprise. Timidly, she looked at the rustling bush. What came out from the bush was a young boy and girl. Maybe siblings, surely from the village. What should I do? The siblings also noticed the red-haired girl, and became dumbfounded. The girl lived treating with the villagers as little as possible. The villagers also tried to treat with the girl as little as possible. Because of that, with this sudden encounter, they were at a loss of what to do. The villagers said the girl was a terrifying witch. Even young kids weren't an exception, because they were so told by they, by their parents, by their parents as they raised them. Uh, suddenly, the girl noticed. There's blood. Surely because of this mountain path, they must have fallen down somewhere. Are you okay? The girl called out quietly, but the siblings started to weep. Bwah! Daddy! Mommy! They seem to be lost. It's okay. Don't cry. Pain, pain. Fly away. The girl got close to the young siblings, put her hand on the wound, and what a thing it happened. The wound closed even as they were looking at it, and disappeared completely. See? It's okay now. It doesn't hurt, right? Sis isn't a bad witch. The brother of the young siblings asked, Would a bad witch heal a wound like this? At the girl's question, the young siblings shook their heads. Then if you talk like that, they would be hurt. There are also good witches between the witches. Sis is a good witch. I don't particular think in, particularly think in doing bad things. Now come on, I'll take you to the village. The young siblings exchanged glances and answered reassured. Yes. Hey, Red Lion, listen. Oh, what's it? Or, what is it? That's a very good mood. Haha, <laughs> is it that? Then the girls... Her girl started to tell. When she took the young siblings to the village, the villagers were very suspicious of her, and were on the watch for her. 
But the young siblings told of their incident, and their parents bowed their heads saying, Thanks. The girl was, first of all, surprised. Until now, the villagers had never said something like, Thanks, to her. After hearing of the rumor of the witch that healed the young sibling's wounds, the next time it was the villagers who went to the forest where the girl lived. It seems there were people suffering an incurable disease. The villagers said they wanted to, her to help those people. The girl was very happy for being, for the first time, needed by the villagers, and went down to the village immediately. The girl chanted the magic words, and in a blink, the afflicted persons went back to health. That was the beginning. The villagers unanim unanimously showered the girl with words of apology. Apologies for having persecuted her only for having red hair and requests for her coming back to the village if she had that splendid power. The girl was very, very happy. I'll go down the mountain. I'll go down the mountain and return to the village. It's like a dream, and I thought I could never go back. That's good. Red Lion saw the rejoicing girl. It'd be lonely, so don't go. He never said something like that. Seeing the happy face of the girl, he couldn't bring himself to say it. Red Lion, I'll come to play to the or I'll come to the mountain to play a lot. Okay, I'll be waiting. Red Lion, if you properly talk things over, I'm sure you could also be accepted in your herd. Is that so? It is, and not only the har herd, I'm sure the villagers would also accept you. Then the next time, I'll try talking instead of running. That's right. And so the girl descended the mountain. Red Lion was very happy. Because the girl could return to the village, because the girl who could return to the village seemed to be very happy. Because she would return to the mountain many times and play together like always. It was a very happy thing. However, two weeks after the girl had returned to the village, the girl stopped returning frequently to the mountain. How lonely. Red Lion assured in the secret base he had once made with the girl. For her part, the girl was busy using her healing powers in the village. And not only for the village, but many people from even faraway countries came to be healed by the girl. Treating patients without stop, the girl couldn't meet Red Lion, even if she wanted to. A certain day, by chance. Red Lion met a villager in the mountain. A human. Red Lion was a little afraid, but also happy. Let's try talking like that kid said. If I do that, maybe I'd also be able to go to the village. Trying to make the most of that rare shande, Red Lion cheerfully and with a big voice talked to the villager. Hello. Huh? The girl doubted her own ears. That's a lie, right? It's not a lie, Doctor. There's a rumor in the forest there's a terrible, fierce lion. Just now, the hunters of the village went into the forest. The dumbstruck girl got up. Red Lion! Uh, doctor! Not even turning back to the patient she was tending to, the girl flew out of the house. As always, going through the forest was rough. Many times, the girl tripped and was about to fall, but still kept on running. Red Lion! Ah. Breathing heavily, the girl finally found Red Lion. Like before, he seemed cheerful. Red Lion... Just when the girl was about to call Red Lion. Shoot! The hunters readied their guns and pulled the trigger at once. It was instantaneous. That... Why, even though Red Lion had only greeted with a hello, this much blood. Doctor, what are you doing this deep in the forest? Ah, you also heard the rumor of the wild beast and came to exterminate it? I'm sorry, but it's already over. We have just right now killed it. Red, pure red. Ah, uh, that's right, creepy color, that's it. Ah, of course, you're different. Really now, who ever heard of a lion with a red mane? A wild beast that was started howling just by seeing us. 
Ah, uh, it surprised me, but thanks to my skill, it was an instant death. The hell are you saying? It was my bullet who did it. Uh, even though the only thing Red Lion did was saying with a bright voice, hello. But sadly, there was no way for anyone but the witch to understand what the lions say. They would see it as nothing but a howl. <sighs> doctor? What happened, Doctor? How dare you? How dare you? To Red Lion! The girl didn't remember well what happened after that. The only thing she remembered was the deep red-stained ground and the deep red-stained self. Not only the hair, but the whole body had become red. And the two rolling humans. Why it became like that, she didn't understand. How could you to my hubby? How could you to my dad? How could you to my brother? The villagers crucified the girl. It was a trap, shouted a villager. She must have joined hands with that red lion to eat us all. How despicable. Sis, why did you kill Dad? With the eyes full of tears, the brother of the young siblings who created the chance for the girl's return to the village asked. I see. She acted like she helped these kids, and intended to do this from the beginning. Screamed the sibling's mother. What an awful thing. That's right, she's a witch. No good could come from her. Witches should just disappear. Witches should just disappear. Die, 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 die. It seemed just like music. The words echoed, resounded, and turned round and round. Her underfoot was set on fire. For a witch, being burned at the stake is the most fitting, said the villager, her village elder with a crooked face. The girl had kept an expressionless face, but here it started to crumble. How sad. I... While the crimson flames were pressing from her feet, the girl started to talk. I can't forgive you. Why had Red Lion have to be killed? Why have I to suffer like this? I only wanted to be accepted. Maybe it wasn't allowed. Looking back, a lot of things happened, and after piling up all the incidents, the resulting consequence was this. I can't forgive you. I can't forgive you who killed Red Lion. However, I won't kill you. I don't want to kill you. Hot, hot, hot. So please, suffer. After that words, the girl was dyed red. The red witch was enveloped in the red flames and died. And after that, a red rain started to fall in the village. Even after three days, after a week, the rain wouldn't stop. A certain person said, the red rain was a curse of the witch. In the village, it was maybe just that. There was an outbreak of mysterious disease, and most of the villagers got infected. Without any doctor to heal the disease, little by little the number of villagers decreased. Following the rumor, it's said that all the villagers died. If it's true or not, since I didn't saw it, I cannot tell. A certain person said the red rain was the tears of the witch. In the village where the red rain fell, red flowers started to bloom, just like an offering for the girl. This is a story of long, long ago. And, as you can see, it wasn't exactly a happy end, but... I don't know, from my perspective, they kind of deserved it, but... I know that might be wrong, but... <laughs> I just do. But, that was a great little story. I don't actually know who created it, but... If you guys are interested in it, um... It's called The Red Witch, like I've said. And I hope to see you in another video. And see you later.